Hello viewers, in this video lecture, I am going to read out a very beautiful poem called Once Upon a Time. This poem is written by Gabriel Okara, a Nigerian poet. First I will read out the poem and then explain the same in Telugu. This particular poem is prescribed for the 10th class students in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Once upon a time son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes, but now they only laugh with their teeth while their eyes block cold eyes search behind my shadow. There was a time indeed they used to shake hands with their hearts but that's gone son. Now they shake hands without hearts while their left hands search my empty pockets. Feel at home, come again, they say and when I come again and feel at home once, twice, there will be no thrice, for then I find doors shut on me. So I have learned many things, son. I have learned to wear many faces, like dresses, home face, office face, street face, host face, cocktail face, with all their conforming smiles, like a fixed portrait smile. And I have learned to to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart. I have also learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance, to say glad to meet you without being glad and to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored. But believe me son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh, for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. So show me, son, how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. It is a very interesting poem. Interesting because this is written in a simple language which even a 10th class student can understand without any problem. And the person seems to be speaking to some other person. And here he is addressing the other person as son again and again. And with this we can come to the idea that the person speaking, that is the narrator, is speaking to his own son. That is why he is addressing the other person as son. So this particular poem can be seen as a speech made by a father to his son. What he is saying is, once upon a time, son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes, but now they only laugh with their teeth while their eyes block cold eyes search behind my shadow. So here, the poet is comparing the past and the present, people's behavior in the past and people's behavior in the present times. So he, he says that in the past, people used to laugh with their hearts. They used to laugh heartily and laugh with their eyes. Even that feeling of... Uh, friendship or closeness or affection could be seen in their eyes in older times. But now, they only laugh with their teeth. But in the present, people only laugh with their teeth while their eyes, cold block, eyes block cold eyes search behind my shadow. Eyes block cold eyes means feelingless eyes. Eyes without any feeling, they search behind my shadow. And 
the present generation or the present uh, uh, situation people are not so innocent people almost always have a hidden agenda so they are uh, at the same time laughing with their teeth and trying to cheat with their mind there was a time indeed once there was a time they used to shake hands with their hearts when people used to shake hands in the past they used to have all the closeness all the affection in that particular hand but that's gone son but we don't find it now that's gone now they shake hands without hearts while their left hands search my empty pockets in the present people have become so cunning that they will be shaking hands with the right hand and they will be trying to uh, robbers with their left hands feel at home come again they say and when i come again and feel at home once twice there will be no thrice for then i find door shut on me people speak sweet things like feel at home come again just for the sake of saying if we take them seriously and if we go to their uh, place for the third time we will be not welcomed doors will be shut on us that is what he is saying to his son so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses so in the present uh, world people have learned quite a number of things and the speaker is no exception he too has learned quite a number of things from the society that he is a part of so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses so the present man the person living in the present society has learned to change faces like dresses home face he has quite a number of faces one is home face that is the face that he wears when he is at home office face office face is the face that he wears to office street face is how he is found on the street host face is the face that he wears when he offers a party or something like that and cocktail face again a party face with all their confirming smiles and even his smiles are changing depending on what face he is wearing like a fixed portrait smile and just because he speak uh, smiling only with his uh, teeth and not with his eyes or heart his smile appears just like a fixed portrait smile and i have learned to to laugh only with my teeth and shake hands without my hearts i have also learned to say goodbye when i mean good riddance to say glad to meet you without being glad and to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored so here the narrator is speaking about himself how he himself has changed by being in this particular society he says that he has learned to laugh without any feeling he says that he himself laughs only with his teeth without his heart and he has also learned to say goodbye goodbye is a friendly feeling when we are parting from our friends we will be with a heavy heart we say goodbye but here in this case the narrator wants to escape from the other person so he is saying goodbye but within his mind he is thinking of good riddance likewise he has also learned to say glad to meet you without being glad glad means happy he is not happy but still he is saying glad to meet you and to say it has been nice to talking to you after being bored and likewise he has also learned to say nice talking to you though he is uh, quite bored about that particular conversation but believe me son now he is making a request to his son but believe me son i want to be what i used to be 
when I was like you. So here the narrator is admitting one thing. By being in this society, by being a part of this particular society, he has acquired, he has learned all the things that the society itself is doing. But now he is speaking to his innocent son and he is asking him some advice. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Look, my dear son, I have learned all these things from society, but I don't like all these things. I want to unlearn. Unlearn means forget all these things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. So there is a long list of things that he wants to unlearn but most important them most important of them all is his love he has an issue with his love he wants to relearn how to love for my love in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs i want to forget quite a number of things but most importantly i want to learn to laugh naturally because my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth and they appear like a snake's bare fangs. So show me son how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. So here the father is making a fervent request to his son to teach him how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. The father wants to learn from his son to smile innocently without any agenda. So he is making his son the teacher here. Rather than the father teaching everything to his son, here is a scenario, here is a situation where the father is himself asking his son to teach him how to smile, how to smile with heart and not only with his teeth. Yes, let us have a review of this particular poem. The poem let us think of its title, Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time is a suitable title for this particular poem because this particular poem compares people belonging to two different times. One bygone times that is past and another people living in the present society. And there is a vast difference between these two sets of people. The first set of people, people who lived in the past, they lived happily. They used to smile with their hearts and eyes. These feelings of uh, affection and emotion could be seen in their hearts, could be seen in their eyes. But now all this is gone and people have become quite materialistic. They simply smile with their teeth and even as they smile with their teeth, their hands will be searching other people's pockets to rob them. And even the talk of these people is concerned, come again, feel at home, these kind of expressions are used but without any feeling. So this is the hollowness of uh, the people living in present generation. That is the theme of this particular poem. So the narrator wants to leave all these uh, nonsensical things and become innocent once again. This is the theme of this particular poem. Hope you understood the gist of this particular poem. Thank you.